The Membrane Protein Laboratory at Diamond is a unique facility. What they have done here is they've set up kind of a research hotel where people can come and do their research in this very specific area of expertise to help you develop your membrane protein projects into crystals and then on top of that also being able to measure these very same crystals here at the Diamond Light Source Synchrotron beam lines. The great thing about the Membrane Protein Laboratory is that it has world-leading expertise in how you make and how you analyse and how you produce membrane proteins. Membrane proteins are proteins that are embedded in, this, in the cell membrane that is surrounding the cell. So by studying these membrane proteins and figuring out how they deposit this outer armour, if you wish, around the cell wall, we can then try to come up with drugs that inhibit the activity of these proteins. Membrane proteins are major drug targets. To develop any new drugs, particularly those without any side effects, it is essential to use membrane protein structure to design these compounds. MPL is the first and the only academic lab totally dedicated to the membrane protein crystallization inside the cyclotron. The problem with these crystals is it's very difficult to transport them because they are very small and very fragile. Once our crystals are grown, we basically just take them from the incubators into the beam lines in less than seconds or minutes. We're very fortunate at Diamond and I24 in particular to have the MPL team having so many scientists and researchers and a structural biology problem so close to us provides that motivation for us to sort of go out and really do something about it. The Memory Protein Laboratory allows us to make use of dedicated beam time at neighbouring synchrotron beam lines to actually measure diffraction and get to know at a very early stage of the project whether these crystals actually diffract and we should be progressing them. Facilities like MPL are extremely uh, advantages for users because they combine up-to-date and state-of-the-art equipment for membrane proteins with the top synchrotron in Europe, which is Diamond. I24 is a microfocus X-ray beamline for macromolecular crystallography. We've developed, in collaboration with the Membrane Protein Lab and the Wilson Groups at Oxford, the capability here to characterize membrane protein crystals at a very early stage of their production. Here in the Oxford Protein Production Facility, we're focused on accelerating the production of proteins using laboratory automation to try and increase the output in terms of knowledge about protein structure. So working closely with the MPL and applying these methods together with their expertise on membrane proteins, we hope will accelerate our understanding of this important class of proteins. The membrane protein projects in my lab really are a very new thing. By getting in touch with the Membrane Protein Laboratory, we've had access to expertise, advice, people to help us, and also specialist equipment that we don't have in our own laboratory to get our projects kick-started. Achieving a membrane protein structure is something quite difficult. Since 2008, MPL has already contributed for the successful structure solving of 13 membrane proteins, and we feel very proud of it. One recent example of the success of the collaboration between I24 and the MPL was the histamine H1 protein structure. So it's this particular small property of the beam, this 10 micron size, which allows us to sort of hunt even within a crystal for a small part which diffracts better than say the other part. The inhomogeneity of these crystals is a particular problem. I24 really gives us the edge in being able to address these challenges. The Membrane Protein Laboratory has a number of activities and functions. Not only is it developing new technologies and trying to determine really difficult membrane proteins, but it's also allowing other people to access that technology and that expertise. And so there's a lot of outside users from the academic community, from industry, from other countries that come here to learn about how to make membrane proteins, how to crystallize them, how to solve their structures. So it has this fantastic outreach arm to it, and I think that's a really important function of the Membrane Protein Lab.